we getting started? Hi guys! Happy Sunday! I know we might feel far apart because we're across the screen but I want to encourage you that still we are not divided, we are one body in Christ because we worship the one true living God together. So wherever you are, happy Lord's Day! So, do you guys have your Bibles with you? If you do, then good, good job. If not, then it's okay, mistakes happen. So the rest of us will wait for you for 10 seconds until you can find your Bibles and come back. So ready? Go! So everybody has their Bibles and everybody's ready to get started? Good job! This past week was a little bit difficult for me. I received news from my family that my mom was very sick and she had to go to the hospital. But my family lives in New Jersey and because of this COVID-19 virus, I couldn't go and be there and help my mom or my family. And there was really nothing that I could do other than pray and ask other brothers and sisters to pray. So this past week, I prayed for my mom. I prayed for God to protect her, to heal her, and that God will give wisdom to all the doctors and nurses who will be taking care of her so that they will know what to do. And I asked God to help our family through this really difficult situation. But at the end, I pray to God that what He wants and what He plans will be done. Because sometimes His plans and His ways are very, very different than mine. Today, we're going to talk about how when we pray, God gives us what we need. Now, I want you to notice that it's not the same as when we pray, God gives us what we want. He always gives us what we need. And that's a good thing. Now let's pray for today's worship and then we'll get started. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much that you are a God who loves to listen to our prayers and you always answer them in the way that we need. God, I pray that today our spiritual ears and eyes will be open to you so that you may speak to us the things that we need to hear. God, we trust in you. We surrender our lives to you once again. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now let's look at today's Bible verse together. Today's verse comes from a book in the Old Testament called Jeremiah. So I will give you 30 seconds to find this in your own Bibles. It comes from Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 12. Ready, set, go! T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. this week, right? It's a little bit harder to find the books in the Old Testament, but I trust that you guys all did. And remember, we always read the Bible verse together with our voices. So wherever you might be, let us use our voices and read this together. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Jeremiah 29, 12. Good job, guys. 
But this week, let's do something that we haven't done in a long time. Let's memorize this verse together. Don't worry, it won't be too difficult because we're gonna do it one step at a time. So first, I'm gonna show you the Bible verse. So let's read it again together. Ready? Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Jeremiah 29, 12. Now, I'm going to take a few words out and I want you to see if you can still say this whole verse, including the words that used to be in the blank spaces. Ready? Then you will on me and come and to me and I will listen to you. Jeremiah 29, 12. How was that? It wasn't too bad, right? Now, even more words are going to be missing. Can you still do it? Then you will on me and and to me and I will to you. Jeremiah 29, 12. How was that? It was a little bit harder. Are you ready for the next level? I'm going to take even more words out and I want you to see if you can say the whole verse, all the words. Ready? Then will on me and and to me and I will to you. 29, 12. Wow, how was that? That was not very easy. Now, this is going to be our very last level. Are you guys ready? Will, on me and, and, to me and, will, to you. 29, amen! guys how did you guys do if you were able to say the whole verse let me know in the comments so that I can celebrate with you I think some of you might have memorized the verse from the activity that we just did and I want you to try it a couple of more times after our worship is over today and see if you can memorize the whole verse before we move on to today's Bible story let's say today's main point together ready Go. When we pray, God gives us what we need. Today, we're going to talk about a prophet named Elijah. Elijah was a mighty prophet of God, and he was a prophet in Israel during the times when Israel had abandoned God and they went after idols. The entire country was filled with idol worship. People had forgotten about God and all the wonderful, mighty things that He had done for them. They even destroyed God's altars and made new ones for their idols. One day, the queen, Jezebel, sent a messenger to Elijah and she told him, I am going to kill you just like I killed all the other prophets of God. When Elijah heard this, he became very afraid and he ran away to the wilderness and he cried out to God. He said, God, I've had enough. I am the only one left, the only one. There's nobody else who worships you. And now they're going to kill me too. It's too much. You see, Elijah was tired. He was exhausted and he was lonely. And when Elijah prayed, God answered him. First, God miraculously sent a hot cake and a jar of water to him so that he can eat it and be filled. Next, God spoke to Elijah in a soft whisper to let Elijah know that God was with him so Elijah was not alone. And then God also told Elijah that 
There were 7,000 other prophets of God who did not worship any idol, but they remained loyal to worshiping the true God. He was telling Elijah, you are not the only one. Don't be lonely. There are other brothers and sisters. And on top of that, God then led Elijah to find a man who ends up being his assistant so that Elijah won't have to be alone anymore. See, God knew what Elijah needed. He saw that Elijah was lonely and he needed companions. So when Elijah prayed, God answered him by giving Elijah what he needed. If you think that Elijah experienced this miracle of God answering your prayers just because this was in the Bible or just because Elijah was a prophet of God, that's not true. God wants to hear our prayers. And it's an incredible thing because God is God. I mean, he created the world. He created the heavens. He created the mountains and the waterfalls and everything. And you know, we're just kids. We're just small people. And we are not famous. We're not powerful. And we don't feel so important. But to God, each and every one of us is precious in his eyes and he wants to hear our prayers. Isn't that amazing? When I was a kid, I was super, super shy. I was the type of kid who was too afraid to say hi to other kids first and I could never ask if I could play with them even if I really, really, really wished to and wanted to. In the classroom, I was the kid that nobody even knew was there because I was so quiet. I was so shy that I couldn't even ask the teacher to go to the bathroom when I had to go so bad. I have some funny stories about that too, but that's for another day. So in kindergarten and first grade, I was very, very, very lonely. My least favorite time of school was recess because I had no friends to play with and recess just seemed so long and I was just so lost. I had nowhere to go. And so in first grade, I started praying to God to give me friends. I knew that I didn't have the courage to go make friends first with somebody, so I asked God to send them to me. And when I became a second grader, something cool happened. On the first day of second grade, there was a new student in the school, and he was a boy from Russia. So he was from a different country, just like I was. And for some reason, the teacher decided to assign his seat right next to mine. And so, we began to talk to each other very shyly until we became the best of friends. And since then, there was never a time in my life that I was without a friend. Our family moved a whole lot because my parents were missionaries and I had to change schools so many times. But in each new place, God always sent a friend to me up until this very day. Every single time without fail, God gave me a friend. I am so thankful today that as I look back, I can see how God was preparing all these things for me my whole life. And he heard my prayers and he answered them. But sometimes God doesn't answer our prayers in the ways that we expect him to or ask him to. Do you guys remember Apostle Paul? He was a great missionary of God who shared the gospel of Jesus everywhere he went. He changed the world. 
And he did so many miracles in the name of Jesus as he preached the gospel. You know, sometimes people even just took his handkerchief to somebody who was sick. And when that person touched Paul's handkerchief, they were healed because the power of God was with Paul. But he had a prayer topic too. Did you guys know that? Paul had a sickness. And he prayed to God that he would be healed. Now, how do you think God answered him? I will will heal heal you. you. Just Just touch touch where it hurts hurts with with your your hand hand, and it will be healed 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 instantly. instantly. Nope. That is not what God said to Paul. Instead, God responded to Paul's prayers. No, Paul, you don't need to be healed. You just need me. I am enough for you. You see, what Paul thought he needed most was healing. But God knew what's better for Paul. Because of Paul's sickness, Paul became more dependent on God. He needed God every single day. He couldn't forget that he needed God like we might sometimes forget. It made Paul closer to God and he had a more special relationship with God because of this weakness that Paul had. What Paul thought he needed was not the same as what God knew Paul needed. But either way, when Paul prayed, God gave Paul what Paul needed. Just like God did for Elijah. And just like God does and will do for you and me. And that's a very good thing because God knows us the best and He knows the past and the future. You know, we don't even know what's gonna happen in one minute. And we can't even remember clearly what happened in the past. I have a younger brother. He's one year younger than me and we are very, very close. And sometimes when we hang out, we talk about our childhood. And it's so weird because the same event, we remember them very, very differently. Even our memories can't be trusted of things that already happened. But God knows our past, our future, and the deepest thoughts in our hearts today. So when we pray, God gives us what we need. What we need to do is pray with the attitude in our hearts that says to God, God, however you answer my prayers, I will thank you because you are God, you know the best, and my life is in your hands. Remember I told you guys that my mom got sick and went to the hospital? God still didn't answer my prayers the way that I prayed. My mom is still sick. The doctors could not find what was causing her the pain. So there is no cure yet. But I will keep praying because I know that God knows what our family needs the most. And please, when you guys remember, please pray for my mom and my family as well that what God plans will be done and that we will be able to thank Him and praise Him whatever God's answers might be. Now let's say today's main point again together. Ready? When we pray, God gives us what we need. Amen. Okay, I want to remind you guys of the art contest that I introduced to you last Sunday. I hope that a lot of you guys started on it. There's still a week and a half. It is due on May 27th and you can send it to me in any way. To refresh your memories, here are the rules one more time. I cannot wait to see 
your art pieces. I hope that you guys all participate and enjoy the process and have a really good time. Let's pray guys. Dear God, thank you that your wisdom is not limited like ours. Thank you that you are a God who is perfect and knows everything but still loves us. So God, we trust you and we give our lives to you. God, help us pray with the heart that no matter how you answer, we will be thankful and praise you. And through that, let us get closer to you. Let us love you more so that we can live our everyday life for you. Thank you, God. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys. I really can't wait to see you all and until then I hope that you continue your walk with God faithfully and spend time with him every single day and good luck on the art contest see you guys next Sunday bye